Ciao ragazzi, welcome to the next video of Med Student Italy. You are on Medlock channel. My name is Ege and I make videos about being a medical student in Italy. I'm an IMAT preparation tutor, so I also create lots of content about IMAT exam, how to prepare important deadlines and some conditions about your applications. As you may notice, there is an upgrade in our channel. I finally bought the microphone that I wanted to buy. And I felt so motivated to do it because I want to create more and more videos. So I am deeply grateful for all the comments, likes and subscriptions, all of the care that you show towards this channel. Today's video is relatively shorter. I'm just going to give you a timeline of IMAT 2023 so that you can know what you will have to and when you will have to. If you are ready, let's start. First step in our timeline is the IMAT exam enrollment. Because right now we are at the middle or almost at the end of the August. And until now, probably you are done with your pre-applications and pre-enrollments towards university and towards the websites of the universities. If you don't know what is pre-application and pre-enrollment and what's the difference, you can check my Instagram because we have a video about it. First date that you should know about is 31 August. 31 August is quite significant because many universities stated on their websites or they told me when I emailed them that the pre-application time frame from University ends on 31 August. 31 August is also significant for some scholarship applications so you should check your region's scholarship institution and their specific guideline about how you do it and when you do it if you are going to apply for a scholarship. This video is not about scholarships, but if there's a demand about it, we can talk about it. But to my knowledge, the University of Bologna, the University of Pavia, the University of Turin and some other universities, scholarship institutions declare that the initial step in the scholarship application ends on 31 August, so it's quite significant. The second step in your timeline is IMAT exam enrollment. Now we are done with our pre-applications, we are done with our scholarship applications. What's next is to enroll to the IMAT exam. So the Ministry of University and Research stated that the enrollment to our exam, which is IMAT, is going to be open on the university point it, I will share the link, from 18 September until 29 September, you can enroll for your exam. I will make another video about it, how to enroll an exam. We still don't know some details about it, if there is a major change the way we enroll, but I expect no major change. I still expect some more communication about it. And when there is, obviously you will know either from my YouTube or from my Instagram. The third important date is obviously our exam date. It is 17 October regarding the time and on the guideline, they stated that it's going to be noon with Italian time in Italy exam centers is going to be noon. However, the time will be adjusted depending on the countries. What does it mean? It means that if you're taking the exam in another country, in another continent, the time will be set up by the exam centers. And this is going to be communicated via email with the students who enroll for that exam center. So you should be always checking your email box once you enroll for the exam, because there will be confirmation letters, there will be some statements about the rules and regulations, and obviously about the time as well. What's next after you take the exam? Next step is the first publishment of the rankings and the points, which is on 31 October. It's going to be an anonymous ranking. Usually they publish the list with the code that you get in the exam center on the exam day, and they just publish the scores with the code. So it's kind of important to remember the code that you get during the exam day so that you can check that list. However, these lists are usually messy in the in terms of non-European and Europeans, the universities there are they are all together, so you cannot distinguish whether those scores are for Europeans or non-Europeans, or is it for your university of choice or for others? It's kind of hard to distinguish. But we will see if there is gonna be any sort of reorganization in this first publishment. I hope that it gets better and clearer. However, it's been like this until now. The next important day is 7th of November because this is the day that they will publish, the universities will publish their own ranking lists, meaning that every university will 
publish their European and non-European rankings that, so that you will know as a European or non-European applicant if you are in the seatings, if you are in the right ranking or not. And you have four business days to reply back to those universities whether you are interested with your seat or not. And if you do not communicate back, if you do not reply back that you are interested in next four days, then your place will be given to somebody else. So it is super important. Now we are moving to the next step, which you guys are asking me a lot, especially non-European students, because you guys will have a marathon of visa applications. So it's totally understandable that you're asking me, hey, when we will apply for visa, when we will fly to Italy to enroll to the university. Regarding that, I haven't found clear days about it, but when I talk to the universities, Obviously, starting from middle November, you guys are going to be expected to arrive to Italy and complete your university enrollment. However, visa applications take time, take a lot of time. And unfortunately, it totally ups to the embassies in different countries. So what do we expect is after you confirm your spot in the university, you will get one more confirmation letter from the university about your spot. And this is the letter that you should be bringing to your consulate to apply for a student visa. And don't forget that it's a very complicated step and you will have to deliver a lot of documents to the embassies. But however, you should learn about it with communicating the Italian embassy in your place. Usually it takes around two, three weeks in non-European countries for Italian embassies to give you a student visa. So. Let's suppose that you communicated with the embassy around middle November. Then we expect you to receive your visa at the beginning of December. So regarding this, there, is, there has been always an issue of missing the first week or missing the first few classes for non-European students. But it should be okay because everybody will be in the same situation. And I'm sure that the universities will consider this delay regarding visas and accepting the spouse and coming to the Italian universities. So I assume that they're going to start the classes in very late November or early December. Obviously, we will have more communication about it. And once I know, I will share with you and please feel free to share with us in the comments if you know further details about this late November and early December. Let me know if you have further questions about this timeline of IMET 2023. I hope that this video was super useful for you and if it was, don't forget to like, share and make a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos because there will be a new video in every week until the exam day. See you in another video. Bye!